Hey, what up guys? Today we're gonna be discussing a topic I've wanted to discuss for a little bit, but I've been a little bit too busy streaming. But since I have time now, I'm not streaming. Um I'm gonna discuss it with you guys, so make sure you guys sit back, relax. Also make sure you subscribe if you do enjoy content like this. I will be uploading way more now because I have one more time to make be more consistent with this YouTube thing. But yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm gonna get to the topic uh, right ahead. So, is the game killer-sided or survivor-sided? I've seen a lot of people go back and forth between this issue, and you can't really say the game's survivor-sided, and you can't really, actually, technically, you can on this part, on the killer side, but it depends which killer. So, survivor, right? You can be extremely good at the game, you can have a lot of, no a lot of knowledge, but if you get a shitty map, you're just going to perform very, very average, and this is what I found out when I'm playing survivor. But as killer, killers, there are killers that are stronger and there are killers that are weaker. Spirit is a strong killer. So is Blight. So is Nurse. If you play a shit killer in, in a decent map, right, you're probably going to lose. The only reason you would play a shit killer is for fun. Like Trapper is shit, but I play him because I really enjoy him putting on his back. So I personally think the game is... If we're talking about the best of the best, right, best of the best, it is more killer sided because Blight, Nurse, and, you know, Ridiculous add-ons exist, right? But the only thing that I find survivor side to currently right now is the maps. That's pretty much it. There are some insane maps that you get with, like, 900 different pallets, but then there's other maps you only get, like, three pallets, right? So if I would have to say what's more killer side, survivor side, I would say killer is more sided than anything else. I would. But it's not like that all the time. It just really depends on the map and skill level, but mainly the map. Because looping isn't that hard. Let's be honest. Looping is not that hard, right? It doesn't take that much brain power to do. So yeah, that's what I think. For a while I did think um made for this and um, what do you call it? not original dead hard but reworked dead hard or in pain in the ass yes right i used to think that but if you look at the new killers that are being released right now like chucky or like some like super strong killers like minus gold launcher score which is a weak but like nemesis is pretty strong predator what do you call it excuse me xenia launcher is pretty strong right i personally think they should just bring back made for this at first i was saying oh no made for this it was made for this broken yes but i see the direction that they're bringing these killers because chucky is really strong right and i see where they're going with the killers right and they're making these killers really really strong right so i feel like they could add made for this back but a more balanced state like 1.5 percent i feel like that'd be great and no uh borrow time effect I feel like that would be more appropriate, right? And adding more fun perks, because right now I don't see that they're having any fun with the perks. So, yeah. So, personally, the game is more killer sided, technically, technically, but we're talking about like the top, top best killers that give you like top 10 best killers, you know, like Blight, Nurse, Spirit, right? But in all reality, the game's more balanced than it was three years ago. And that's and that's all I have to say about that. And then we're going to be talking about the next issue at hand that I really want to talk about. These are kind of short. I'll make longer videos about them. They're just brief. And this leads to my other big discussion that I really, really want to talk about is toxicity in the game. So when I first started playing this, and up till now, keep in mind, I absolutely love this game. Sure, I will get pissed from time to time, right? But I'll never try to direct my energy towards somebody. I get mad at myself. But if I do get mad at somebody, I'm not going to shit talk them in chat. Because first of all, that's rude, and second of all, that's just harassment. You shouldn't do that, right? You can talk shit, whatever, right? But never actually go to the person's face to face. You know, you're just mad. It's in the heat of the moment. Like, don't go and to that person. You don't even need to talk to them. Just don't get mad, all right? And this is what I've noticed when I first started playing this game. This it was like my third match. Instant toxicity. Instant people trying to harass me after the game. So, let's say I was playing, and then I would get a 4K. And somebody would get salty they would try to argue right and then try to add me on steam and do all these other crazy things in order just to keep shit talking me just because they lost the match and keep in mind you've gotten mad we've all gotten mad at some point in this game right it's just games you know <laughs> especially when it comes to this game excuse me 
but there's no need to go out and harass somebody intentionally and just be a fucking dickhead right there's no need to be an asshole it's and it's a huge problem and I, a lot i did see a youtuber say it happens outside of the community more on steam and all these bed posts but from my experiences it happens there but also it happens a lot in game two where people just get pissed off because they didn't win or they get pissed off because they get some bs i've gotten ton of before i tell them people right is it a shitty feeling yes it's a super super shitty feeling right but i've never what do you call it the most i've ever done is say nice time and that's it and i didn't keep harassing but i play games with me as survivor and the my fellow survivor friends right i'm not in a party but my fellow other survivors they get so mad to the point that they just keep arguing and arguing and arguing and adding more fuel to the fire and just making it worse you don't need to do all that you really don't it's just that at the end of the day it's just a video game and we're all trying to have fun so if you do get mad what i recommend do is maybe get out the game for a bit you know i okay something that i do is will i get mad yes i get mad at the game right do i get mad at the game all the time no but do i sound like i'm in a bitch mood yeah right but i like this game regardless but some people honestly take this game way too far when they're in a swift right or they can't bully the killer they will just go out of their way right to make a little situation into a huge huge problem or something that's kind of weird to me is hitting an hook i understand if you teabag the killer and then they hit you on the hook maybe once or twice right then sure you know but lately i've been seeing a lot of killers who loop a survivor and the survivor's looping them pretty well and then the survivor is out looping them and then eventually the survivor makes a mistake because they either run out of pallets or windows or maybe gets blocked right and then the killer would just camp them and just pretty much straight up tunnel them, right? For no other reason. Keep in mind, the survivors didn't teabag or anything, right? And the ki killer is just having a whole, whole, like, bitch fit and being super frustrated at this one survivor. And then they'll obviously talk their shit at the end of the chat and then put something nasty in their stream profile, right? Like, what is the whole point of doing that? They just loop you. They didn't do anything that warranted that they didn't do anything with toxicity that warranted that i don't understand that i don't like have i have i ever hit someone on hook yes i've hit i've hit a twitch them on hook but the only reason i hit them is because they were teabagging me the entire time right and then i hit them on hook, you know and that for me that's acceptable right but hitting somebody on hook just because they loop you and then going to shit talk them and then after that putting reporting them right and then putting something nasty on their steam like okay that's a bit too far but and i've seen that a lot like i've seen a lot of that and i i don't understand that i really don't it's just kind of like yeah everyone gets mad you get mad i get mad but that's a bit too much man. um and for the survivor side is teabagging i see a lot of killers getting frustrated at survivors teabag them and for me when i used to be a killer me it's a pretty frustrating yeah but the number one way to deal with that is not to talk and what do you call it shit at end game and just to try to play the game with them. i did see another youtuber talk about this saying that oh if a survivor's teabagging you right you should just ignore them and then go for somebody else because they're probably good right and you shouldn't let that go to their head right yeah okay 100 percent. but he was the same guy i'm not gonna mention who he was but he was the same guy who was also getting mad because the was being toxic back so this is what i think if you're being toxic bad like so let's say you're too bad whatever and the killer hits you on the hook right there's a reason for that right you just got you guys are just messing around right that's it you know i'm not gonna go out of my way to be an asshole but some people are really like that which is kind of crazy to me you know you know i've done it too but like i've never done it to a crazy amount of extent that uh these other what do you call it? i've seen other people have so yeah something briefly i wanted to discuss i wonder what you guys think about this what do you guys think about toxicity in the game right how can we improve it and lastly what do you guys think about my first topics the game killer survivors or or survivor sided right give me your opinions and yeah so the way i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you like it, game it go ahead and i'll catch you next time